Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to 100 Days of Hardcore Arc Survival Evolved on the Extinction Map. Hey yo, what's up? Great to see you guys again. Anyways, a couple of mentions before we go. Luke the Notable for the 100 Days idea and also for the Arc community for helping me out with this map. I didn't mention a few throughout the video, so keep an eye out for that. What are we waiting for? Let's get to it. Oh yeah, extinction. Immediately, I began to think, what did I get myself into? This is quite a difficult map. And yeah, there's loads of things to do. Oh well, I guess I got to get started, right? Get a couple of tools, our armor, and then I needed to find a place to place base. Yeah, I think this is a cool spot. Why not? Oh, what is this? Holy crap. Oh, it's dead. Wasn't me. Day two, I was ready to go ahead and tame our first dino. So we went out and about looking for something to tame. And here, we spotted a decent level parasol. Bowler in hand and equipped with some slingshots, we began the taming process. Of course, this was a decent level parasol. So yeah, it did give us a run for our money. Oh yeah, you bet. I was set on taming this. We did. Yeah, Steve. Steve is back with us! What a legend! By day 3 I upgraded my base to wood tier. We even got a little dino pad for old Stevie here. I also spotted this Mesopithecus, which to me looked a little bit lost. Besides, I needed a shoulder pet, so I tamed it. Day 4! Well, I wanted to tame the Strikia. Sounded like a great idea, plus I had the advantage. Ugh, never mind. But never fear, for if there is a wall, there is a way. And there certainly was another trike. Yeah, I almost died taming this one. I mean, I wanted to tame one trike, but there were two. They hit hard. They really hit hard, man. Eventually, we got ourselves this mighty fine beast. What a genuine find. Ah, uh, yes. Day 5. Well, I focused my energy around the base because we needed a few things. I went out to get ourselves a forge and then worked our way up getting our smithy. We eventually got ourselves some metal tools. Day 6. My mission was to get some levels. I found an exploring note which we used in conjunction with beating up some of the locals. I also thought it was a good idea to grab some enforcer BP. Well, we were on the bust a move kind of mood, so uh, why not? Day 7, while out and about, I spotted a decent level Pteranodon. Yeah, it was on top of one of those bridges. Of course, I wanted to tame it. Having a flyer is good. Oh, it's good. We had bowlers, we had trank arrows. That wasn't a problem. Trying to get prime meat, on the other hand, was a problem. We went out in search of something that would present us with prime meat. So yeah, we found some stegos. The only thing is, I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> I thought it would uh, spike me through my trike, but actually, the trike was the better option. Poor cams. What a scrib. I did get that pteranodon tame though. And the pteranodon saddle. Day 8, I went out looking for some more explorer notes. Well, I wanted to go ahead and level up my pteranodon. As you may know, this isn't the highest level of pteranodons. And even still, those higher level pteranodons ain't got some good stats. This one, however, <laughs> was... Uh, it sucked. There's no other words to describe it, so I had to do something about it. We also went ahead to raid some of the beaver dams to get some of those juicy resources. Oh, day 9. Well, we needed to extend base. Why? Because someone said that my butt was too big to fit through the door. Huh? Who's that? Huh? Tell me. I'm just messing around. Okay, chill. I just needed to put down a fabby. So we made space. And then decided to go ahead and prep up for a Megatherium tame. Oh, now we're on to something here. It was finally time for us to go ahead and tame that Megatherium we prepped up for. Lucky enough, they were a couple just close to base. All I had to do was place down the taming pen and then tried to kite the Megatherium in. Well, the right one, of course. Well, it was easy stuff, okay? Ain't gonna lie. We got that Mega Theory Man. Drank it, knocked it out. It helped us earlier on by taking out a Kano. So Prime Meat was sorted. Sweet. Day 11, I spotted another Megatherium, a mate for my other Megatherium. Although we did have a little bit of a hiccup. 
It wasn't a problem though, because I left my megatherium to camp here overnight. So, um, yeah, we had backup and dealt with this hiccup swiftly. You better run, you little sausage. And then proceeded to drink our megatherium. Oh, and I also found the way to get back to our base. Some good times. Good times. Day 12, I began breeding my megatheriums. Also, we have the time and the resources to well, craft ourselves a full set of flak. Let's go! Peace! Ah, look at this little one. What a beaut. Day 13, well, we were in luck. The little megatherium had the best stats from each of its parents. I also needed some meat for my dinos, so I did a little meat run. Day 14, I thought it was a good idea to start getting ourselves some helpers. Besides, I spotted an Anki, which I really wanted to tame. We did! I also decided to check out some of the beaver dams around that little swampish area close to base. Oh yeah, juicy resources! Well... Now that we have an Anki, a metal run was in order. Also, we continued breeding our megatheriums, looking for a mate with the best stats for our other little megatherium. Day 16, the megatherium we breeded with the stats that we wanted was on the move and on the prowl. Yes, peeps, we went just outside the sanctuary where we found some of those corrupted dinos. Uh-huh, you see, there's a plan here. I needed those corrupted dinos to get some of that juicy corrupted nodules. Why? I guess you'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Day 17, we went out with our megatherium to get the resources that was needed to craft our first ever enforcer. Boom! Guys, I didn't know how freaking cool this was. I mean, it could even climb up walls. It was so much fun to play with. Oh my gosh, is this awesome. Day 18, on the edge of the sanctuary, we spotted a high-level dodgy. And obviously, I really wanted to tame it. So, with our pre-bolt taming pin in our bag, all we had to do was find a safe spot to place it. With our speedy enforcer, things were looking pretty good. All we had to do next was place down our taming pin and kite the RG in. Which is even better, because we didn't have any problems with that. We got the RG in, managed to drink it, knock it out, then then went out to get some prime. Day 19, I went out with my RG to get it some levels. Luckily, I spotted an explorer note. There's also another plus side to this. I spotted an alpha raptor. Oh yeah! So I decided to take it on with my RG. And with that XP boost, meh, did we get some juicy levels from that fight. I then went ahead to check on some of the beaver dams close by. Of course, we're always on the lookout for more cementing paste. Or pearls. Oh mama! This was the day things got a bit more interesting because I spotted freaking high level Rex out in the wasteland. It was a bit far away from the sanctuary, but it wasn't a problem because we had an RG. All I had to do was try to kite the Rex towards the sanctuary, which eventually we did after some time. And we had a pre-built taming pen in our bag, so I had to find a good spot and some time to place it down. We found both of them. <laughs> we managed to place down the taming pen and had to kite the Rex in. That took some time trying to get it in there because uh, Rexes have a freaking attention span of a goldfish. Yeah. Anyways, we got the Rex in. I then had to track it and we knocked it out, of course. And got it some prime meat. Day 21. I wanted to try my first orbital drop. I've been doing some research and peeps say that this is the best way for us to get some cryopods. So I thought, why not? Thus, we could get some levels too. Do keep in mind that this is my first time ever doing drops like these. So I don't really know how things work but so far so good right wrong turns out which i didn't know at the time that if we go too far away from the supply drop it disappears the best part is i spent the whole night trying to defend this freaking shiznit why can't what Ooh, looky looky what i found a super freaking high level thyla luckily we had an rg i just had to swoop down under Grab the thyla, take it over to my taming pen where I took my shiny little crossbow and blasted it with some tranks. We did that until it was knocked out and with my rex, well, we got some easy prime meat. That's how day 23 was done, bruh. 
In the early hours of day 24, Althila finally tamed up. Man, was it a freaking long tame. Anyways, we had to take it on for a little test drive where we did some damage along the way. I also thought it was a good time to go ahead and tame some more helpers. Besides, we were in a good location for these kinds of things. I spotted a good level Dodicarus. I proceeded to drink it, was able to knock it down and got the food to tame it. Day 25 peeps, I finally decided where I wanted to build my main base. We only needed a couple more helpers, which was a Castoroides, and we weren't far from it, so I just had to grab it, take it back to where I wanted to tame it, drink it, and wait for it to tame up. In the meantime, I was gathering resources to start the build of my main base. Day 26 to 29 I worked solely on our main base. Now this time I didn't have an idea of what I wanted to do so we took some inspiration from one of the YouTubers known as none other than GG Fuzz. Man was his base looking so fresh so I was quite determined to make mine similar and hopefully complete it but I took on a tough task because this base was huge and it was just crazy resources and, and structures. I just didn't have time when I came to think about what I needed to do on this uh, map so we, we got something out of it though it really looked amazing and of course it wasn't completed yet I needed to get a couple more things to finish it off which I would attend to much later oh yes day 30 I remembered way 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 back then when I first played Extinction and I found the bus terminal, the final bus terminal. Hey, guess what? We can craft cryopods. Why didn't I think of this earlier? Who needs blue chops? Day 31. Now this is when I started getting a little nervous because I had so much to do and just so little time. I was starting to think if we could actually make this 100 days completed in its totality. I don't know, man. But anyways, there was an upside. We found a high level Rex which we wanted to tame. I had a pre bold taming pen in my bag. I had to find a place to uh, put it down safely without getting mauled by them corrupted dinos. Or the Rex in fact. Um, yeah, managed to do that. Was able to kite the Rex in, drank it, knock it out and got it some prime meats. It was that. Right? Day 32, I spotted an enraged corrupted Rex. Now that apparently gives you the Alpha Rex teeth that you need for the final boss fight. Of course, we needed it, so I decided to try and take it on. I had faith in my little Rexy here. Thing is, I was in a quite dangerous spot. Um, yeah, loads of things could have went wrong. But luckily, we came out of that, or just came out of that alive. And with the Alpha Rex tooth or teeth. It's that time again peeps! Metal grind! J34 I spotted another enraged corrupted Rex. This time I was ready for it so uh, yeah it was going down son. Down. Him and his little scream corrupted friends. Alrighty, day 35 I spotted another high level Rex and I wanted to tame it. This one was in a good spot so it wasn't really that difficult. All I had to do was place down my taming pin, kite it into the taming pin, and then with my crossbow I shoot it with trank arrows. I then try to knock it down, shooting it with my trank arrows. And then I proceed to go and look for prime meat in order to feed the Rex to tame it. Yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> Cams, you mad guy. Oh no 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 Cams! What are you doing? So many Rexes. For what? For what? Um, do you start a Rex army? Day 37, now that I had a better understanding of how these supply drops work, I decided to go ahead and try one and hopefully complete it. Uh, yeah, you guys are right. This one was pretty easy. I could have done this in my sleep. We managed to complete it and get those awesome little items. So, so amazing. Day 38, we started breeding our Rexes. Yes, our Rex army was needed ASAP. We also went along to craft a couple of ACs, just to make it a little convenient for us. Oh uh, yeah, there was also an intruder. Um, I don't know what it wanted with us, but uh, man, you gotta go. Day 39. Man, 
<laughs> We're still praying to those Rexes. It takes forever for them to get the right stats. Why? <laughs> oh lordy lord. By day 40, we started seeing some improvements. These were the stats that we were looking for. And um, yeah, I, I quite like what I see. Of course, these are not the greatest, but I'm sure these will surely do the job. Ah, uh, well, I guess. We still need a mated pair of Rexes with these stats. So, uh, got to get to work, man. Day 41, I decided to take a break from breeding those Rexes. So I decided to do some more grinding. Yay! Anyways, I needed to secure my base, put up some walls so that uh, my baby Rexes would be safe and we wouldn't get any more of those unwanted dinos or creatures. Day 42, now that we have our mated pair of Rexes with the stats that we needed, plus an extra one, we began the mass breeding of our Rex army. It was time to get as much Rexes as we possibly could. I ain't taking no chances, bruh. Day 43. Well, we needed more metal. And ASAP, we've got some things to do. Day 44. Oh, yeah. We spotted a high-level Tapahara way up on those bridges. So, uh, I wanted to tame it. We had some rare flowers from those beaver dams. Hence why I always go for them. We use that to our advantage. Of course, if you eat that, things will aggro on you. Bowled the tappy and some cool taming gear. Took out the tappy within seconds. And then, uh, yeah. Bob's your uncle. Day 45. Yeah, it was time for us to finally start leveling up our Rexes. So, I found this cool spot. And I believe the top right hand side of the map. Now, this spot is the beauty spot. There's loads of dangerous dinos. And um, the alpha or the enraged corrupted Rex always spawns in this spot. So, uh... Yeah, we got some crazy levels from this. And also, we've got those uh, items needed for the boss fight. So, all in all, this is a great spot. Day 46. I couldn't help it, but I loved those supply drop defensive mission kind of thingies. Besides, I love the loot that we got from them. So, I spotted a blue drop. Of course, this one was the easiest one of all and didn't cause us much effort. Eventually, we did complete the defense of a mission and got these amazing things from them. I cannot wait to try out those higher tier supply drops. Now, that would be something. Day 47, I was on the hunt for some gadgets. Yes, I needed one that could produce black pearls for us. I had some big ideas to fulfill and needed all the help I could get. Unfortunately, we weren't that lucky this time around. But hey, you gotta keep trying, right? And so I did. Oh ho, day 48 peeps. Yo, this was just crazy, but we finally got it. We got the gacha that would give us black pearls or produce black pearls for us. Yeah, man, I kept trying and trying and trying till eventually we got one. So um, yeah, never give up. Right, black pearl production. Here we go. Also, on the same day, we went towards the desert to get some of the plant Y seeds. That apparently boosts production or something like that. I don't know, but uh, I really wanted to try it out. Day 49, we went back to our beauty spot to level some more of our Rexes and take out some more of those corrupted dinos. Get those juicy items we need as well. Hey. Peeps, it's day 50 and yes, I was back here trying to level up some more of my Rexes when suddenly... Holy crap, there's a meteor shower! What the freak? I gotta get out of here! Run, cat, run! Phew, we made it. Awesome. Day 51, now ho! Cam's is getting a little bit braver here. Of course, I didn't really know if I would make it or not because uh, I haven't done these things before, but I mean, it's worth a try. Besides, I got three leveled up Rexes and I was maybe 80% sure that they could handle whatever would come our way. So yeah, we spotted this uh, yellow OSD and wanted to take it on and we did. Let's go! It's time to rumble! Man! In the early hours of day 52, we finally did it! We finally defended our first yellow OSD! Woo woo! 
and the spoils were even greater. So much of the good stuff. I mean, just take a look at this. Wow. Ah, uh, yes. Day 53. This was quite an interesting day. I wanted to tame this Utyrannus. I placed down my taming pen as per usual with any of the dinos that I want to tame. And all I needed to do was kite the Utyrannus in. Yeah, which many of you might think is quite an easy task. And I know, because I was one of them. Until I tried it. Somebody shoot that dog, Yote! Wasn't this much easier, Camps? Why did he think of this earlier? Why? Yeah, so we ended up taming the Zuti and day 54. With the rest of day 54 right up until day 55, we breeded some more Rexes to add on to our Rex army. Day 56, well so far you know that I have metal runs, meat runs, and some other runs. But on extinction, we have to add one more. We need an element dust run. And for those that don't know, yes, I spent the whole day collecting these resources. Day 57 to 58. As you can see, I'm not wasting any time here. I'm trying to do the best as I can, as fast as I can. So we're here leveling up our Rexits. Get ready for the boss fights and try to defeat extinction within 100 days. Day 59. Well, we have some of our Rexits leveled up. We still have a long way to go. Anyways, we need another element dust run. Let's get to it. Day 60, I thought I'd have a little fun, you see. I found this yellow drop and wanted to take it on. I also did some research and found out that we could put structures around these drops. So it was a good idea to put some metal spikes around it. You know what? This made this defensive mission really easy. Also, I had a little army of Rexes with me. So, um, yeah, it was as uh, good as done. And also, juicy loot at the end of it. It's just amazing. Yes! Finally, finally, I spotted a freaking Quetzal. I've been searching for days and I wasn't able to get one. The thing is, we really needed one this time around. Why? You'll soon find out. But thankfully, we tamed a Tapahar just for this purpose. It made taming this Quetzal real easy. Also, I had some good Trank gear with me. So, uh, we got this thing down in no time and safely too. Sweet! Day 62, we just chilled around base, did some amazing maintenance here and there and also tried messing around with them gachas feeding them different things to see what happens at the end of the day we got enough resources to craft our indie forge oh yeah day 63 and 64 we were back at our place trying to level up the rest of our rexes things were heating up but we needed to stay and fight to get the most experience as possible you know what it was also a great way to get those boss items the same sort of creatures kept respawning in every so often day 65 i had this crazy idea to turn my base into a gigantic taming pen now that i have a quetzal it was a good opportunity for us to tame those gas bags luckily we managed to get the gas bag in and try to train it. What I didn't realize or forgot that uh, these gas bags will attack you. Um, <laughs> yeah. Luckily, it didn't cause that much damage and we were able to knock it out. Day 66, this gas bag was still taming up. I didn't know these things take forever to tame. Anyways, we did have time. So, uh, another element dust run was in order. Day 67, I found this awesome spot full of metal. So I had to do a metal run. Can you believe it? There was so much freaking metal that I had to continue right up until the next day i mean just look at this look at all that juicy metal oh that should set us up for a long long time day 69 yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> what was i thinking i don't know but i took my ut to the same spot where i leveled up my rexes to level the ut up this right here peeps could I've ended my whole entire 100 days just because of this stupid, stupid mistake. What was I thinking? All this time I was trying to be careful and I just let down my guard 
just for one second. But luckily, we survived this. Thank the gods. Oh, thank you. Uh, well, at least you know what? We leveled up our UT. Somewhat. Day 70, back at base. Just uh, barely making it. <laughs> but you know what? We had the resources and everything was looking sort of fine at the moment. So I decided to complete my base bolt, putting up some of the finishing touches by means of those greenhouse glass or vaults. Making our base look absolutely amazing. Day 71, I was working on my piping. We needed a constant flow of water for this one special crafting or station structure what do you call it i don't know i also went for a meat run at the end of the day i had enough resources to craft my indie cooker that's why i needed to place down the piping earlier on j72 yeah 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 say what you want but i need elements so another element dust run j73 oh oh peeps it was time for us to face our first boss Thanks to Lucky by Nature for the tips on the cave and also the artifact location. Anyways, we went down there with a mated pair of Rexes and uh, they just took out everything that was in sight. So we didn't have a problem clearing the place and reaching our destination. All we had to do next was face the forest titan. Let's go. Well, that was something, wasn't it? Really cool, and we got some cool loot from it as well. And later on that day, we were to collect some element dust. All of this will come in handy, you'll see why. Day 75, I spent my time collecting corrupted nodules. Oh, lordy lord. Great time, say, great times. Um, what do you mean? I don't see anything wrong here. Oh, yes, I forgot something back at base. I think I better go and fetch it. Sounds like a good idea. See ya. Later on that day, I spotted this beauty right here. Don't ask me why, but I had a sudden urge to lick my big tip. Uh, oh, wait. What? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm in tame the Rex. Right. <laughs> uh, never mind. And yes, our taming pen was close by, so I kited it in and tamed the big fella. Easy boy. Day 77. So I assume you all got what happened the other day, right? I had the organic polymer, but because it was so much of items, it couldn't fit in the terminal. So um, I had these few days to <laughs> prep up for the next trip to the terminal. So I went ahead and got some obsidian and then went and hit some of the beaver dams. But it still wasn't enough. I needed just one more day to prep up. Day 78. Told you, I needed more obsidian. Luckily, I found another spot with loads of it. So that was awesome. Day 79. I think this time I was more prepared. I had all the materials and was gonna work this time. That for sure is gonna happen. <laughs> oh jeez. I, I don't know what happened. I didn't think about the quantity of those corrupted nodules. Don't ask me why. But yeah, I made a mistake. It didn't happen again. We got our replicator this time around. Boom, son. Let's go. Day 80, it was time to go and face the Ice Titan. But first we had to get through the cave. Now this one was a bit crazy. Things were just overly OP. Um, it was wrecking 
my Rex is. I tried using my uh, Thyla, but as soon as I took it out, it was wasted. Luckily, I had my Rex with me. But something strange happened. I decided to use my RJ. Don't know for what reason, but it worked. I'm not sure if I got flyers allowed in caves. I don't think so. Or unless this doesn't count as a cave itself. Whatever it is, I ain't complaining. Because I like this way. It was easy and safe. We got the artifact and was ready to face our next boss. Oh, let's go. You know what? That turned out pretty cool. But we still have a long way to go. Besides, I need more element. So, we need to do another element dust run. J83, now that we have a tech replicator, it can handle all of those corrupted nodules. Which was what I was looking for. And also some of the other things that we need for the boss fights. So, uh, here. Boom, son. Our very own and very first mech! Boy was it so enjoyable to use. It was super crazy, I just loved it. It was my first time ever crafting a mech. For real! Actually, I never even do it before with codes. So, <laughs> it's the very first time I'm using a mech. And, and, I will need it. Because I have some plans and I need a little help. And this guy right here is the answer to the help we need. J85, oh dear. I almost uh, forgot about time here because I was busy crafting this pile of junk. No, I'm kidding, it's not junk. It's going to be amazing. It's going to help us defeat our next Titan. Look at this, what a beauty. And I was able to get two Rexes on there, so cool. We're ready for that kill. J86, we were in the desert cave. I was told and watched on YouTube that we would find some Sarkos in this cave. So I wasn't worried about the Sarko skins. I wanted to try and get it in here. Um, yeah. That didn't happen. There weren't any Sarkos or any crocodiles or alligators or whatever would give Sarko skins. Uh, I did get the artifact though. And this cave was really easy, so uh, nothing much to say about it. Although that I didn't get Sarko skins. <laughs> Day 87, I found the mother load of Sarkos. Yes, this spot right here had tons of Sarkos, including on all of these ramps around me. So uh, I just stayed here and grind up those Sarko skins. Day 88, I was ready to face the Desert Titan. Yes, me with my Quetzal and my two Rexes tried to take on the Desert Titan. I know most people use Gigas, but I just couldn't find any Gigas that were high level enough to start breeding them. So I had to go for my Rexes and I love them. They did the job, just like any other Giga. And at some point we were left with one Rex. Somehow one of the Rexes fell. Are we sure I tested this bolt quite well and uh, tried my best to get those Rexes out of there? I don't know how it happened, but it wasn't a problem because even with that one Rex fighting the Titan, we still got it. We still did the job. In fact, my Quetzal had the last bite of a bit. We got some levels from it too. And that juicy loot. Day 89, I wanted to have a little fun, you see. Besides, we didn't do a red drop before and we had all of these Rexes that we actually didn't quite need them again. So, uh, yeah, I was like, 
Why not? We also needed all of those items that these corrupted dinos would give us. Um, <laughs> they didn't stand a chance with me and my gang. Hey, we got them, man. We got them checked. Bruh. Yeah, these are the loots that we got from the red drop. Day 90, we needed more items for the boss fights. Yeah, loads of corrupted hearts and stuff like that. So, uh, we had to get it somehow. You know that, right? Jeez, this guy and his freaking element dust runs. What the freak? Day 92, you know what? This is quite a risk I was taking. For one, I had no idea what I was doing. What I do know is what I watched from videos. And that's a different thing altogether than actually doing something. Yes, so I tried to tame the Ice Titan. I didn't know how difficult this was until I tried it. It was really difficult and long. I almost lost it at some point, but I kept pressing on, determined to get this right the first time around. And somehow, somewhere, the gods were looking upon cams and gave us this awesome opportunity. <laughs> the Ice Titan was bugged. I don't know what really happened there, but um, it helped us. So I was grateful. And after what felt like many lifetimes and a near death experience, we finally was able to tame the Ice Titan. Oh, we just got game, so. My next task was to go and tame the Forest Titan. So day 93 and 94, I went out to do some element dust runs. Because we needed a whole lot of element for this job. Day 95, right up until day 96, I was here at the Forest Biome trying to tame the Forest Titan. Uh, this was a bit more difficult than the Ice Titan, but again, somehow the Forest Titan got bugged. I ain't complaining because it worked to our advantage and it made for an easy Forest Titan taming. We got two Titans, peeps! We gotta rock this! Oh, I so hope so. <laughs> Even with these two Titans, I don't feel confident. Rip comes! Alrighty, day 97 and 98, I needed a couple more items for the last boss fight, so we went out with our Rexes, trying to get everything that we needed. Just a couple of corrupted hearts, but I mean, it takes a while to get them, but we had some time. I had to make sure we had to get it done. Day 99, I was ready. It's amazing how all of these things worked out just in time. I had two Titans ready for the battle. Unfortunately, I brought this one back to base, so... I had to walk it towards the boss arena. Forest Titan, I walked it straight to the boss arena after I tamed it. We had all the items, we had everything that we need. We were ready to face the King Titan. Let's go.